Good afternoon. The fundamental structure of Tai Chi Chuan, the eight directions. Now, what are the eight directions? The eight directions are the four sides and the four corners. Now, this is vital information that is very important if you want to take your Tai Chi to another level. I will explain. If you, unless you are extremely experienced in the practice of Tai Chi, Tai Chi form in particular, you need to follow exactly what I'm suggesting right now. When you begin to practice, align yourself with some walls. Don't start on a slight angle, otherwise you will get lost. It's vital to start like this, square. So we have the four sides and the four corners. And when we practice the 108 movement form, we use these. Now, what is important to understand here is the connection of the hips and the hip movement with these eight directions. So I will try to explain, this is not easy. Okay, now also we're going to talk about the back foot being 45 degrees. Almost every single motion that we do, the back foot is in 45 degrees in relationship to the direction in which you are moving. So here you see me, the front foot is straight, my back foot is 45 degrees. Now let's say I'm going to do ward off to the right, like this. I'm in ward off to the right. My hips are square. Now they must be really, really square. Let me show you uh, what not to do, this. The movement is not finished. Square. When you are square, you can go neatly into the corners. I will show you. So let's say I'm ward off to the right. Now I'm gonna go move into roll back. For this, I turn one eighth. If I turn here, that would be a quarter. Here it's an eighth. So I turn an eighth, straight, shift forward. Irrespective of the, what the move is with the upper body, this is what's happening down here. And this is really vital. So <clears throat> let me say, from a single whip, let's say I go into four corners. So now I'm going to shift really right into the corner here. This way. Or if I'm over here, obviously same thing, this side. And this movement is imperative. This and the 45 rule for the back foot. Let's say I move forward, let's say the brush knee. I do one, two, here. Increments. 45 degrees. The hips are going to turn this way, and now in order to project, jing, it goes straight. Okay? So this movement here is imperative. Now what I see is, I'm going to repeat this because it's an error that we see everywhere, people don't turn their hips enough. Now that's also a question of, you have to be loose in the uh, this area of the body. Now, uh, those of you who are more experienced in Tai Chi, you know that there are two problematic area, areas in the human body, the shoulders and the hips. When we want to circulate the Chi throughout the entire being, these two tend to block the flow. So we need to be really loose here and really loose here. Now, this can take time. Um, some people say it takes years. That depends on the individual. We, everything we do in the Tai Chi will help to open this up. Particularly though, I would suggest go and look at the Dun Yao video, this one, if you want to open up your hips. It will help you a lot. So, as I, re I will repeat, what I see is, like I showed you earlier, is the body is not quite square. So, if you can't do it for the moment because you're too tight, that's okay. We have to respect our limits. But your mind can go there. So your mind can go square, even if your body can't at this point follow. And then we turn, and the mind, well, the mind should be active in Tai Chi, not in a combat situation. It should be empty. But uh, when we practice, okay? 
So those are the four sides and the four corners with the incremental movement in eighths. I hope I'm explaining this clearly because it's not easy. Okay, let's, for example, if we go from uh, push to single whip, sit, square, turn, all the other sides, square, not here, single whip, not like this, square, here, 45 degrees, straight, square, okay? So those are the eight directions, or eight, well, I guess directions is okay, as a description of the incremental movement of the uh, hips, but most of the time the shoulders will follow, with the exception of a few moves, like the four corners, where the shoulders move independently of the hips. Otherwise, this is relationship remains all the time. The correspondences, all the connections should be vital and active. Square here. This one is turned one eighth. This is a special move. The uh, band through the back is one of the few that's not square like this. We sit here. Okay. So there are a few exceptions, but not many. Cloud hands. This part moves independent of his, but otherwise this remains facing the four sides of the four corners. So I hope this is clear for you. If you can apply this to your practice, it will um, give you another feeling of how the form flows and uh, it will lead you to a, another uh, level of, uh, of a quality of Tai Chi. Anyway, I hope you Thank you for your attention and I hope this information was useful to you. See you soon. Take care.